Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Build a Zoo! The absolutely adorable crossbreeding pixelated zoo tycoon game that I have been waiting for in eager anticipation for so long now and it's finally coming out you guys it is coming out on november 5th so i hope you guys have it in your steam wish list because i am so excited to be able to have adorable little pixel animals to crossbreed are you guys ready to make like some giraffes mixed with lions some dryans because i'm ready to make some dryans and that is what let's build a zoo is all about it is a zoo tycoon game where the twist is that you can crossbreed so many different variants of the mini animals that you can add as species into your zoo. So without further ado, let's go ahead. We're gonna pick our little avatar. And oh, a name for our zoo. It has to be Zoodesia, of course. Come on, named after our amazing zoo crafting series, which is totally coming back, I swear. <gasps> and look at it, it's so cute. So you guys may recognize a lot of the things that we are now stepping into from the demo version of Let's Build a Zoo we played over the summer, but there have been so many updates. I have been a member of the Discord for quite a while now, and the amount of love and attention to detail that goes into developing this game has just blown me away. So I know that we're going to have an absolutely wonderful time as we build out Zoodessia Zoo and fill it full of all sorts of curious creatures to crossbreed. Kind of like a great segue from our laboratory series if you ask me. But all right, so first task. All right, Kathleen, an investor. New task, visit the management office. Hey there, my name's Kathleen and I cr I'm currently your zoo's sole investor. Could you come down to the management office for a quick chat, please? Okay, we need to like make our investor happy. And there she is, oh, I love the little stamp you get. All kinds of requests end up here and I know you will want to keep, an, uh, keep on top of them. Try viewing a new task now. All right, so build an enclosure. Let's see. Every zoo needs animals, but before you can take delivery of any animal, you need to build an enclosure. We can't just have them running around after all. All right, so let's come over. We need to build. Let's make a little grass one. I want to make it nice and pretty. Oh, also one of the things in Let's Build a Zoo is that you can be nice or naughty. You can actually take like kind of an evil path. Evil's a strong word. You could take a path of dubious dark morality or you could keep your morality really high so you actually do have like a moral quality to your zoo now where if you don't treat your animals very well and you do like really dark black market sort of stuff in your zoo you will actually become like an immoral zoo and if you do really nice things and like try to take good care of your animals and you try to do a lot of charity events you end up becoming like a really high morality zoo very interesting and there's going to be a lot of like questions you're presented with that challenge you on like a moral basis of what you want to do with your animals. I'm really intrigued to see how it's going to work out. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe it's actually here. I keep thinking this is going to be like the demo again, but it is not. All right. Well, let's go ahead and make like a nice grassy pathway maybe over here. I want people to be able to get around some of it. I don't know how big the enclosures need to be for some of the animals. So we'll do this, and then over one, and then let's try that out. Oh, what happened to my grass? Okay. And then we'll go ahead and get, maybe the zookeeper could be over here. Oh, there we go. Great, now we have an enclosure. We can start the real business of finding animals to make our zoo one step closer to becoming the best zoo on planet Earth. Oh, Kathleen. Oh, it's Dimbo. New task, overpopulation. Good day! I have a gift for you. Visit me in my zoo and I can tell you all about it. Just find the Australian zoo on the world map. Alright, so we need to visit Australia. <laughs> this is escalating quickly. I love it. Alright, so the Australian zoo is over here. And in the future you can trade with all sorts of different zoos. Struth! We had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month. And we just don't know what to do with them. I heard you were starting a new zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy-eared furballs. What do you say? All right, so we can have two bunnies, a boy and a girl. They're adorable. And we have now discovered a new animal. So we've received two rabbits. These animals have been added to your collection. Got it. I'm sure you'll love them and the visitors will too. Yay, so we're kind of like starting with the petting zoo. And we're gonna go ahead and put them in here. Okay, so space used six out of 49, plus two animals. Uh, now we have completed, oh, uh, this person will have a new task after this. So we'll be able to visit with the Australian zoo and have a new task from them after we complete four trades with the Cuba zoo. Got it. 
Oh, it's our investor again. It's probably time to start uh, trying to earn a living. Let's open up the zoo so paying customers can start turning up. Okay, uh, so we can open the zoo, but I don't I need to like build a little path first? That seems, that seems appropriate. Uh, dirt path, wooden path, gray bricks. The bricks are actually kind of nice, but if I start now, I could put in wooden paths instead. Oh, I like it. I like the little wooden paths. Okay, we're going with wooden paths, you know, for the woods. All right, and we'll let guest come over here. Whoops, no, no, no. Okay, we'll put grass. Oh, look, you can really detail under here. <gasps> look, I can put grass down under the fencing. That's so much nicer than the dirt. Oh, that's lovely. All right, I'm well pleased by that. And then we'll line this up over here so that guests will hopefully have a great spot to go. Probably a little excessive on the spending money. I need to be more careful with that, but I'm happy to have done that. There we go, to make it look nice. <gasps> look at that cute little newspaper. I can't believe I forgot all about it. The Horizon Herald, Jennifer Duda, editor. The mayor officially opened our new zoo today. The zoo that has been named Zoodesia was made possible thanks to an investment from Kathleen Kay, a renowned international business mogul. The management of the zoo said, We hope to become a huge success, bringing joy to animal lovers everywhere, while also being financially responsible to our investors. Maybe even buying them out and gaining our own independence one day. <laughs> An exciting time for everyone who witnessed the grand opening of the new local zoo. Oh, that's adorable. All right, so now we're open. Um, we probably need to give... Oh, enrichment and water. Oh my gosh, yes. You have a pen that doesn't have any water supply. Uh, let's see, and we don't have any enrichment. We need to take care of those things like immediately. So let's add objects. Let's add water. Oh, look at this little water basin. Okay, so we need to have it somewhere near where the keepers can reach. So we'll put the water basin over here. And we'll see how that looks. Oh, that's so cute. And then I guess I need a keeper, don't I? To like take care of these little bun buns. And let's put a little small ball inside for them. Small ball, enrich your animals by adding this ball to their enclosure. There we go. All right, so that makes me happy that we're taking good care of our animals, I hope. Um, I hope, I hope. Water link. So, an animal water basin. Oh, research grant. <gasps> Hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research, and I'm here to offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. Okay, so we need a research hub. Take before the end of the day. Okay, uh, see, these are the offers you can do. Critical choice, you have to make a decision. Research unlocks new features for your zoo. Well, we definitely want to build a research hub. Plans for research hub and local zoo. Uh, the zoo recently announced that they plan to construct a research hub. L let's see, and once built, visitors can expect to see a constant flow of new and exciting attractions appearing in the zoo. Zoo management says there are currently no estimates on when it will be completed. However, they reassure us that after construction, the researchers and designers will be working hard to consistently refresh the look and technology of the zoo. We spoke to the locals and the reactions are mostly positive. New stuff is always exciting, says Jane, a housewife with kids. Franny, an infamous commenter with all things negative in our community, said, why bother making new things? We already have enough things in the world. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Just this cute little, cute little, like, thing telling you. Okay, we need to build this research station really quickly. That there's, like, a, a local negative Nancy who's just like, why do we have to have new things? All right, let's put the research station up here. Yay! $250 per day for 14 days now. And apparently we need to hire a researcher. Um, market rate? Okay, so let's go a little above market rate. I'm gonna go 300 a day to make sure we have somebody who's a little polite. So this is our researcher. High energy, okay job satisfaction. Oh look, the more you pay them, the more polite they become, but the work ethic doesn't really go up. And then the less you pay them, the more rude they become, less polite. Oh, okay, water coverage. Oh geez. Make sure you have enough water pumps. Oh, I need a water pump to cover your ba water basins. Move one, uh, move one you own or build more to stop animals going without water. Thirst is the quickest way for an animal to die. So it's important to keep it under control. Okay, so I'm just gonna hire this person basically a little above market rate. So hopefully they'll be slightly more polite. Yeah, this should be good. We'll hire them. Uh, and then I think this is our water pump, so let's go ahead and move it over next to here. There! And look, you can see how now it filled up the water. Oh, thank goodness. 
Ah, and people wish there were more to do. Well, hang in there. There's plenty for me to do right now. And they're paying five buckaroonies a piece to be able to come and look at our bun buns, which makes me happy. Oh, and now we have the task research an item on the research hub. All right, so we have staff now. Yeah, Russ over here. I wonder, can I rename Russ? It would be amazing if I could actually change their names. I, I'll have to ask about that at some point. And you can give them a bonus and you can reset where they are and fire them. Okay, so let's have Russ. This is the research screen. The employees of your research hub work tirelessly to earn points that you can use to unlock new buildings and bonuses. Try unlocking some research now. All right, so I think we could do garden benches, a desert enclosure, more suited for desert animals, uh, animal enrichment to help our animals out. Hmm. We could also do trees. Everyone likes a bit of scenery. I kind of, I want to kind of do trees. I know that's really silly, but let's do trees. Whoa! Research grid! What the heck? Look at all this stuff that we, we've started to unlock. Uh, previews for important buildings and bonuses allow you to work towards unlocking the items you want. Selecting the research, uh, select the research, uh, uh, selecting the research sets on the left gives you a hint about the locations of different things. So if you want to try to unlock these things, like you have to unlock the right research chain and you have to kind of figure out like what you should have your researchers work on. I really love that because it's not like things are guaranteed. Like if if you sat down and did research yourself, you don't exactly know if you're working on step A, what step like J is going to be until you kind of get closer to it. So I kind of love that you have to kind of guess at your research tree for a little bit until you kind of figure it out. Okay, so yes, gives you a hint. Remember to come back regularly to spend your research points. And then we gain research points from our researchers getting things. So we unlocked the tree pack. And if we unlock two more tree packs, we increase the decoration score of trees by 5%. We could do a slushy shop, a trampoline for all the animals, the electricity siphon. Huh, unlock something next to, look, it has morality. It has bad morality, I think, versus like this thing which I think has good morality. It's a recycling center. What? There's a farm processor, incinerator, furnace, processor for meat, oh no. Then there's the energy pack, a warehouse. Oh, you probably need to go ahead and like get a warehouse so you figure out like what you can store. Um, breeding, so if I select breeding, it kind of lights things up to give you a hint of where you could go. So I think if we do the desert enclosure next, we'll be able to start unlocking breeding. That's my guess. All right, we completed that task. Done! Yay, we got a reward! Uh, and I think we unlocked another researcher, maybe? Maybe? Oh, yeah, one, wait, one of one recruitment. So let's see, I think... You have to research to lock this. So I think I already got the person I can hire. Oh my goodness, everything's going so, oh, look at the little bunnies. Everything's going so quick. Can I name the bunnies? I, I hope I can name them. Can I rename them somehow? There's their, their medical information. Oh, I guess we don't really have a medical report because we don't have a vet yet. What? Look, and you can see the stuff you can feed them. Oh, oh look, and here's their species info. Because there's not only this type of bunny, but there are like nine other types. And discovering all of the variants of the rabbits will unlock the gene so that you can actually get the CRISPR slicer. And that is what lets you crossbreed and create like genetic hybrids out of the animals, which would be really cool. Rabbits will perform a spectacular leap when they are happy, known as binking. They leap into the air, pulling twists and kicks in the sky to demonstrate how happy they are. They have a life expectancy of only 30 days, what? Okay, we probably want to get a move on if we're going to take good care of them then. They have a spacious, like a very spacious enclosure with no threats. Good. We don't have them on contraceptives. Uh, and this is Piper. Piper, I wish that I could rename them. That would be really fun. Uh, you can euthanize them or donate them and that'll give you morality points. Noted. Gosh, there's so much stuff to see. And the game saves at the end of every calendar day. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, it's Kathleen. New task, proving grounds. Now that we are finally up and running, I would love to start tracking your progress. If you reach 25 total customers, I will be able to give you a small performance bonus. Noted. Oh, look, and it's Franny the complainer. New task, storeroom. Hi there. I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. 
I have a small observation though. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals? Hunger leads to starvation and starvation leads to death. And I don't want dead animals sneaking up the neighborhood. Build a storeroom for food. All right, we'll work on that. That actually sounds like a very good idea. So let's see, we were looking at the animals in the pen. Here's some new things. We already have the research hub. Having a storeroom to hold food for the animals just sounds like, you know, something that's obviously very important. Oh look, and we can hire Agatha, who I think would be the keeper, much more polite than our old keeper. Oh my goodness, look, you can make Agatha like ridiculously polite. For the difference of only 130 and job satisfaction goes up, Agatha, why not? Our new animal keeper. At max rate, there we go. Hopefully Agatha will take good care of them. Also, what's this? Animal welfare officer from the government. A government employee who evaluates the welfare and treatment of your animals. So you can do animal encounter, give up close and personal experience with some wildlife. Results may vary. Or you could bribe. Look at that with the darker morality. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's give an animal encounter. Pick an enclosure for your guests to visit. Get up close and personal with some of your animals. So choose an, uh, an enclosure to start the animal encounter. Okay. Let's use this one. Where hopefully they can see... Oh no, the animals are really hungry. Oh no. Okay, maybe... Here, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we can feed them first. <laughs> can I add some... I don't want to like have them come in here and then be like, where is the food? Oh no, he's already in here. Is he going to notice we're missing food? Okay, look, we can add some long grass as decorations. Oh, I love that you can put the decorations in the habitat. That's so cool. It's, however, not going to help our bun buns. See, oh, we got in trouble. No bonus. Oh, and if you get higher or lower, then you get fined, or you can go ahead and receive awards. Great to see a new zoo. Seems like you have a few things to solve. I will give you some advice for now, but next time I won't be so generous. Your animals need more time to be fed and raised lovingly. Your animals are not being treated very well. Please try and be better. Next time I won't be so lenient. Oh, okay. Okay, but if we had done better, we will actually go ahead and, like, uh save 50% on all purchases from animal shelter for the next 30 days. Trade with other zoos to get one additional animal if we got A, because our, our like report on how good we were doing with the, uh, the animals would spread through the world. Or if we did worse, like we got F, we would have to pay fines and all purchases from the animal shelter would cost a lot more. Oh, I want to take good care of our animals. I don't want them to be sad. Oh gosh. Oh, we have little lilacs we could put down too. What? All right, I'm gonna put in some like lilacs in the Bun Bun's habitat. I don't wanna make it too crowded, but putting in some flowers would just be very charming. I'm gonna add in a little bit of lavender. See? Cute little pixel, pixel adorable bunnies. Oh, I love them so much. Oh, what's this? Let's see. Oh, finished task. Yes. No. We have gone ahead and we have gathered a ton of people uh, and we built that storeroom. Boom! Hey, it's Franny the Complainer again. Your zoo is going to become quite the rat-infested rat den of disgust unless you hire someone to tidy up. So we need to hire a janitor! Okay, but I would really like to feed my bunnies. Like, that's kind of what I'm most worried about. Is... Okay, zone. Set zone of influence. Set the enclosures you want your employee to look after this one is she gonna is she gonna feed them i'm actually really worried about this agatha are you gonna feed them okay she's going to the pen <laughs> could you go a little faster i thought we were giving her like a much better a much better employment as well adjust salary yeah yeah we're actually paying her way above market rate okay i see is she gonna feed our, our little ones though i'm very worried about this all right come on Come on, I had to set her zone of influence. Oh, now she's she's off to the store. Oh, there's some food. Oh, bun buns, you're gonna be okay. I was really worried about that. All right, feeding is okay. Total cost per day to feed them is like 79 cents. They eat straw right now. And you can quick order food for the animals. Food supplies. Apparently I have plenty of straw. Is that the case? Storeroom? Straw? Supplies are meeting 124 days worth of straw. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if I was going to... Oh, you could change the appearance of this place. <gasps> what? That's so cute. I didn't know you could do that. Oh my gosh. Do we have more research yet? 
We have four research points already. Desert enclosure time! Nursery! Oh my gosh, use selective breeding to discover new animal types and help map each species genome. All right, we need five points for that. So we're gonna save up the rest of our research points for that now. Oh my gosh. All right, the zoo closes at five today. So let's try to go ahead and hire our janitor. We need to recruit a janitor, open job positions. Um, let's see. And we could put it on the job portal or we could go ahead and put it on social media. Let's put it on the job portal. And then I think you have to wait until you can actually like get somebody. Yeah, some applicants. So you have to wait for applicants. That's really cute. All right, and while we go ahead and wait, let's see, shop. Build a shop to start, oh, and there we go, guys. All right, oh, seed fund. Since I invested in this business, you have various performance targets to hit in order to unlock more capital. Reach 100 total customers and I will release some additional funds. All right, well, oh my gosh, an animal picture taken from Potter. You know, I really love seeing lots of animals. They bring peace and tranquility to me, to me. but I am also a member of an online animal spotting group, so we get com uh, so we compete to get pictures of the rarest species. I don't think we are supposed to take them at the zoo, but I just like winning on social media, regardless of reality. Anyway, I would like you to get more animals. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay guys, so we actually have a lot to do. We need to go ahead and we need to build a shop. Uh, we also need to have a hundred visitors. We need to get five animals. We need to hire a janitor. This is going to be so cute because this is just the beginning of a amazing zoo where we're going to start crossbreeding our rabbits and hopefully being able to go ahead and get to the point where we'll like have rabbits crossbred with, oh, there's a lost puppy. <gasps> a man has lost his best friend. The animal keeper told me that we have found a lost dog, a beautiful Labrador. We could call the number on its collar and tell its owner, or we could use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand the fledgling zoo. What? You could dress it as a lion and put it on display? Oh my gosh. Or we could go ahead and spend $50 to advertise a campaign to find its owner. I love that we're going to have these like moral choices to make. This time around, you could dress it as a lion, get more visitors. Oh, but this time around, we'll make the moral choice. Your choices matter. The morality choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you can use and may be reflected in certain people's behavior. Choose wisely. So I think we made the moral choice and now we just have to like, wait. Oh, we gained morality from that. Yes. Ah, and now we just have to go ahead and, uh, and wait and take care of our zoo. I love this. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our little bun buns doing their best. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.